let's craft and add some custom recipes to Minecraft. Alright, we find ourselves back in the challenge once more. And in this tutorial, we're adding custom recipes to Minecraft. This is going to be a very straightforward thing indeed, because once again, it will use some of the data JSON file. In our tutorial mod data folder, we're going to make a new folder called recipes, making sure that this is written exactly correctly. And then here, we're just going to make the first recipe class, and that is going to be the black underscore opal underscore from underscore block dot JSON. Now, this is going to be the recipe to get black opals from a block. So you're going to put a black opal block into the crafting table and then you're going to get out nine black opals. The first thing you will realize at the bottom right corner, you can see Minecraft recipe JSON. Now, this might not happen for you immediately because it detects this sometimes and sometimes not. What you can do is you can click on the schema if it says no schema and then you can just type in a Minecraft and you should be able to choose the data pack recipe right here. And that will then also allow you once you start typing to get suggestions right here. Now, in this case, if we autocomplete this, you can even see that it suggests us the types of recipes that exist right here. However, while we could do this, we're not going to. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to once again show you one great resource, which once again is Misod GitHub.io, this time's recipe. And here you can basically change the type right here as well, right? And it's going to change the type. So for example, shaped or shapeless or campfire cooking or blasting or whatever you might require, change exactly what you want to change here. However, an even better resource in this case is definitely once again going to be done in the external libraries all the way to net Minecraft client extra 119.3 or whatever your version might be inside of the data Minecraft recipes folder because here every single vanilla recipe is going to be present and I just cannot recommend enough to basically take a look at these recipes. So for example, well, we wanted to get black opals from a block. So let's just search for diamond, right? And if we look at the diamond one, you can see, oh, so we're putting in a diamond block and we're getting out nine diamonds. Well, this seems like exactly the thing that we want to do. So we can just copy this, put it in here, right? And then just change this. So instead of a diamond block, we want to put in a black underscore opal underscore block. Instead of nine diamonds, what we actually want to get is tutorial mod colon black underscore opal. And there you go. That's it. And that is immediately already what we need to do in this case. So I cannot stress enough how how amazing the external libraries are to basically take a look at all of the data and asset JSON files. Uh, it is actually insanely good to learn anything from vanilla. I just copied over the other two. So that is blasting and that is going to be smelting. Now you should be able to tell that this is not too crazy as well. And also you can always take a look at the external libraries and the vanilla recipe JSON files. And that should be pretty much all that you really need. Now we're also going to add another JSON file, which is going to be the black opal underscore block underscore from underscore black underscore opal. Pretty crazy name, but it is going to be okay. And this is basically the reverse, right? So this one, once again, we can just go to the recipes. We're going to be diamond. And then in the diamond block one, we can see if we put in a diamond and put it in this pattern, then we're going to get a diamond block. And we're going to just copy this again and then just change this. Once again, tutorial mod colon black underscore opal. And this one is tutorial mod colon black underscore opal underscore block. Now, what you can find here is that this is a shaped recipe. And this pattern right here represents the crafting bench. So you can clearly see it, right? This is a three by three pattern. And if we fill this up with black opal, then this is going to give us a block. This is should be fairly self-explanatory. So if we were to do this, then this would now be the same pattern that you have, for example, for making a furnace, right? But this is not what we want. We want to fill this out. If you want to have multiple keys, you can do that. So you can just add this and then, you know, change this to first F. And then we could change this to raw or black opal, for example. And now we would have to do something like this. Uh, a really good example of this would, for example, be the dispenser. So if we actually look at the dispenser, you can see this is how you make a dispenser, right? You make, you use cobblestone, that's the hashtag. So you put this right here. And then in the middle, you put a bow, right? That's the X. And then R is just redstone. You put that at the bottom and out you get a dispenser. Correctly, there you go. And then there you go. That's pretty much all we have. Uh, I cannot recommend the external libraries enough. They are insanely powerful and just really, really useful. And that is actually all that we need. So let's go into the game and see if it works. All right, so we find ourselves in Minecraft again, and let's just see if I can use nine black opals to make a block of oak. Well, and of course I can. And the reverse is also true. Now, they will actually appear inside of the recipe book here as well. So you can see they're both in here, which is absolutely awesome indeed. And then when it comes to smelting stuff, so let's just 
take this and there you go it's already starting and then this should also work absolutely so we can basically smelt the raw black opal both in the furnace as well as in the glass furnace and we're getting black opal out of it absolutely freaking awesome and this is exactly what we wanted to so that's actually how easy it can be add some custom recipes to minecraft all right and that's gonna be it for this video right here thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all next time so yeah